After extensive discussions, the MPC voted unanimously for a reduction in policy repo rate and for maintaining the accommodative stance of monetary policy as long as necessary to revive growth and to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 while ensuring that inflation remains within the target. On the quantum of reduction, the MPC voted with a 5 is to 1 majority to reduce the policy repo rate by 40 basis points, 4-0, 40 basis points from 4.4% to 4%. Consequently, the MSF rate and the bank rate now stand reduced to 4.25% and reverse repo rate stands reduced to 3.35%. Before I lay out the backdrop, the rational and expected outcomes of the MPC's decisions, I wish to thank the committee members for their valuable contribution uh, during the deliberations. India's foreign exchange reserves have, however, increased by 9.2 billion during uh, 2021, that is from 1st April onwards. And uh, so far, that is up to 15th of May, uh, our uh, uh, foreign exchange uh, forex reserves, they stand at 487 billion US dollars, which is equivalent to one year's imports. GDP growth in 2021 is estimated to remain in the negative territory, with some pickup in growth impulses in H2 2021 onwards. The end May 2020 release of NSO on national income should provide greater clarity, enabling more specific projections of GDP growth in terms of both magnitude and direction. Much will depend on how quickly the COVID curve flattens and begins to moderate. The RBI had announced, uh, you know, on both these occasions, uh, certain regulatory measures pertaining to granting of three months moratorium on term loan installments. That is the first one we had announced. Two, deferment of interest for three months on working capital facilities. Three, easing of working capital financing requirements by reducing margins or reassessment of working capital cycle. Three, exemption from being classified as defaulter in supervisory reporting and reporting to credit information companies. Five, I think one, two, three, four, five, I'm just listing out, it's possible that it missed to, you know, that exemption probably was number five, ex exemption from being classified as defaulter. I think that was four. The fifth point is extension of resolution timelines for stressed assets. And the sixth point was asset classification standstill by excluding the moratorium period of three months. So all these measures we have announced on uh, 27th of March and on April uh, uh, 17th, essentially arising from, you know, this three months time we gave uh, three months moratorium we allowed on the term loans, then on working capital we allowed certain relaxations and associated measures. In view of the extension of the lockdown and continuing disruptions on account of COVID-19, the above measures are being further extended by another three months from 1st June till 31st August, taking the total period of applicability of the measures to six months.